as I see people who I really previously respected, or at least kind of respected, take incredibly insane positions. Now, this particular woman is on the left, but I always thought was a voice of relative reason on the left. Bernie Sanders supporter. That's fine. I don't care. Crystal Ball was a Bernie Sanders supporter, too. I've always liked her. We have political differences, but I, I think she's got sane views. This woman is Brianna Joy Gray. She's been on this program before. And she tweeted out, and then I'll play you um, a clip. In response to Anthony Blinken, the Secretary of State, saying what separates Israel, the U.S., and other democracies when it comes to difficult situations um, like this is our respect for international law and the laws of war, and adding that Hamas uses people as human shields. That is all true, 100% true. And you don't have to believe me. I actually pulled it just for kicks. Um, NATO, 2019 NATO report. The practice of using human shields is common to most violent extremists operating in the Gaza Strip. And they go on to provide the details, including they, they, uh, they've noted that um, even in this conflict, Hamas has called for Gaza residents to remain in the crossfire. They, they like civilian casualties. They want it. They, they use them for propaganda. They use the civilians as human shields so that the Israelis won't bomb uh, their military targets. That's why they have their headquarters underneath a hospital. So just Anthony, Anthony Blinken's correct. That is what Hamas does. And we are different. We don't do that. And neither does Israel. Her response was the decapitated baby lie, the lies about rape. What, what lie is that, Brianna? Because I've seen for myself at least one picture of a baby lying in its crib surrounded by blood, including around the neck. So do we actually need to see the head separated from the body? What would satisfy you? What, what would make you see that babies, and do we really care? Do we care if it had its head chopped off or if it was burned or if it was shot? Walk me through what would persuade you, Brianna that we've got a real problem on our hands with these Hamas terrorists. Is it, what, what do they need to do to the baby? What kind of motion picture would you like to see to make you actually believe that these are actual terrorists? But anyway, the decapitated baby lie, the lies about rape, I guess tablet has been completely wrong. The women didn't get raped next to the dead bodies of their friends. Brianna knows better than the reporters who were there talking to those who survived the massacre, 260 were dead. But on the ground, reporters went and actually asked the people what happened. But Brianna sitting at her desk, she knows better, you see, because she went to Harvard Law School. She's educated. She's one of the elite. So she sees through the nonsense, gals. She sees the lie. Uh, it was all to establish some moral distinction between the piles of bodies killed by Israel and the pile of bodies killed by Hamas. Neither Hamas nor Israel respects international law. But this is the shell game played to justify continued U.S. support of ethnic cleansing. So the U.S. is supporting Israel's ethnic cleansing of Palestine, where the population has what? I don't triple some, some huge number over the past some 40 years. Never mind when Israel you turned over the entire region to Gaza or to Hamas. Ultimately, in any event, the Palestinian numbers have gone up, not down. So they're terrible ethnic cleansers. The Israels, they suck at it. The Israelis, this is her take. Okay, it's all, we want to ethnically cleanse the Palestinians and therefore we're making up lies about the dead babies and the rapes, lies. That Anderson Cooper video, lies. He's in on it. It's like Alex Jones with his Anderson Cooper in front of the green screen. I saw, he made up Sandy Hook. He was part of it. Sure, yes, Brianna, you are officially in Alex Jones territory. Welcome to the insane Bizarre parade. Here she is. She hosts what used to be Crystal and Sagar's show on Rising. Emily, you go. You're on this. Um, and she had this crazy exchange with Robbie Suave, who's more, there, she's sort of, she's been sort of left but reasonable. And he's been like right but re like no one's extreme. Not this day in a very, very heated exchange that kind of stemmed off of similar allegations by her. Watch. 
There is still this embellishment, and I believe it is rooted in a desire to strip humanity from the people of Palestine and justify doing what Max Miller and a number of other officials in the Israeli government have said, Max which is Miller to flatten... Max Miller is an obscure Republican official. It does not matter what he says. So every leftist... Wait a minute, Robbie. Every leftist in America was asked to apologize for some random protest... They should apologize. They should apologize for their endorsement of terrorist attacks on innocent Israeli civilians, just as I am outraged by the retaliatory actions that are killing innocent Palestinian children everywhere. I care about both of these things and have said I care about both of these things over and over again. It is you and the idiotic, fa- leftist, terrorist sympathizing people who do not care about the dead Israelis. They don't. So I'm a terrorist. And they've said it over and over again. Black Lives Matter has said it. The Harvard students have said it. The DSA in various locations have said it. The left endorses what Hamas did. They do. They endorse it. The Harvard newspaper said exactly what the editorial page of Israel's major newspaper said. I don't give a f- Brianna. Okay, well, that's clear that that's your opinion, but the Israeli voices in Israel who are getting killed because their fascist right-wing government decides to keep two points... The Israelis are getting killed people. because a terrorist group targeted them. Mm. Uh, Emily, this is you used to work there. Now, you're, now you help Crystal and Sagar on their independent venture, but they're not normally quite that fiery. This issue has really divided people. And I have to say, what she's saying is absolutely outrageous to me. I mean, it's absolutely outrageous to me. What sane person questions, oh, the decapitated baby lie, the rape lie. What the hell does she know? She She's suggesting women, did, how does she know anything? That's just absolute, that's Holocaust denialism. That's what that is. I like Brianna, and if that exchange, if I were involved in that exchange, how I would have responded is is actually that Haaretz is what she was referring to, the Israeli newspaper that allegedly said the same thing as the Harvard statement. Uh, I think that there was a huge distinction between those two statements. One, first of all, is coming from an Israeli paper that obviously has been covering uh, at the time of that editorial all kinds of stuff. And it kind of goes without saying that they you know, condemn the slaughter of Jews. Uh, on the other hand, also, the Harvard statement said that Israel was entirely to blame. We saw that in a lot of the statements entirely to blame. And so I think, and I have actually been thinking about this a lot as I've listened to some of these arguments over the last week, there's this very visceral anger, frustration, uh, rage among some people on the left about the way Western media oftentimes, and and Western media has a whole lot of problems, and I I think we all agree with that, um, will take like that I-24 report, which I believe said that there were 40 beheaded babies at Kafaraza. And, uh, you know, because that number might not be exactly accurate, we saw this sort of eruption of that visceral frustration a lot of people on the American left have with Western media uh, because they just think all of the Palestinians get ignored and they're the ones that are suffering under the oppression of colonialism, et cetera, et cetera. I completely disagree with the history there. Um, I think that's where it comes from. And I think it was really, really, really unfortunate to see a lot of that on display last week in the aftermath of the slaughter of innocence, to to do that within a few days. I mean, I get that there are serious concerns, but Hamas is bragging about using civilians as human shields. They are right now telling people not to evacuate, uh, saying things like you have two options or we have two options as the Palestinian people to fight or to die in our homes. That is the kind of language that treats civilians as martyrs, not as people who should be trying to find safe passage to Egypt or, or other ways to evacuate, which the community is the global community is actually working on. Um, but to tell people to die in their homes, that is using civilians civilians as human shields. That is not evacuating civilians in a way that ensures they will be muddled together with the military population in Gaza, knowing that Israel is going to retaliate because hundreds, more than a thousand thousand of their people were slaughtered in cold blood, um, you know, ambushed at their homes at a music festival. These two things are not the same and they're not justified even if you believe that there were decades of uh, colonial oppression. Um, So I think to do anything but to blame Hamas uh, for the situation that it's putting its own civilians in, uh, in the context of this last week is really, really wrong. I mean, the fact, like, it's so just dishonest, Eliana, to say these are lies 
told by the media. You know, they're trying to tell, they're trying to suggest Hamas did evil things to draw a moral distinction between the evil Hamas and Israel. That's what she's saying in this tweet. She says, these lies were to establish a moral distinction between the pile of bodies from Israel and those from Hamas. There is a moral distinction. There is a moral distinction between Hamas and Israel, whether she wants to see it or not. And she can delude herself all she wants based on how many babies were decapitated. Was it 40? Was it four? Was it one? Versus, and, and ignore all the evidence. Did you see the Did you see the picture from Netanyahu of the burned babies? Are you one of the loonies, Brianna, who decided to do a little AI investigation on the picture like Tim Pool, only to later find out, oh, whoops, I embarrassed myself. It's real. How about the one of the dead, stabbed, shot? Couldn't tell because they blurred it. Uh, baby in its crib. How about the bloody other crib that they tweeted out? How about the many bloody playrooms that they tweeted out? How about the Anderson Cooper? Like to run with it's a lie, right? And it's meant to like ma manipulate you into thinking Hamas is evil unfairly, Eliana. It truly is Alex Jones territory. Like you really are, you've gone off the deep end. You need to be reeled in. And I don't know in her case what the motivation is, whether it's an anti-Semitism thing, what it is but it's disgusting because the evidence is overwhelming that Hamas is murdering children and the elderly and the disabled. And if you don't believe that, why don't you believe Hamas's own videos where they have little babies hostage right now? What is that? Is that okay? Do the Israelis do that, Brianna? Is that cool with the international rules of war? It's a no. Show me the international rules of war that Israel has broken. They, they try not to kill civilians. They attack military targets. They drop a warning bomblet on the buildings that they're about to bomb to let the people know the real bomb is coming, get out. They drop, no, they send text messages to the Palestinians saying a bomb is coming, evacuate now. My God, she's right. Like they're, they're, they're she's, she's wrong to say that there's no moral distinction be between these two. There's a world of moral distinction between the two. Well, I actually think this is a really sinister um, mode of argumentation that you're seeing, not just from her, but there was a Los Angeles Times reporter who also seized on this um, yes. fact on Twitter. Um, and it is um, to seize on a detail and saying this hasn't been proven. And the effect or the intended effect is to make others question um, the reality in front of them. Um, well, if babies weren't beheaded, how can we know if all of these other things are true? Um, the the intended effect is to say, did these events really happen? Question what you're being told from the, the press. Question the pictures that you're seeing. Question the videos that are being putting that are being put out. Question the reality. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Hamas intentionally broadcast footage um, and. I'd be happy to get in an argument about. Um, were the babies beheaded or were they merely shot in their cribs? Were there 11 bloody handprints or were there 20? Um, because that's the path they're going to go down. This show is supported by Grand Canyon University. Founded in 1949, GCU is a private Christian university that's dedicated to delivering an affordable and transformative higher education. Their vibrant campus is located in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. And according to niche.com, it's ranked a top 25 best campus in the country. As of June 2023, GCU offers 330 academic programs with over 270 of them online, allowing you the freedom to earn your degree on your time from wherever you are. Their programs are also designed to challenge and inspire you. At GCU, your degree, whether it's a bachelor's, master's, or doctorate, integrates the free market system and a welcoming Christian worldview. And they believe that higher education should be accessible to all. Learn more about GCU's programs, competitive tuition rates, and scholarship offers from your university counselor. They're part of the supportive graduation team that's going to take a personalized approach to helping you achieve your academic goals, walking next to you every step of the way. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University, private, Christian, affordable. For more info or to enroll, visit gcu.edu. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.